In many instances looking at your data, you may want to do some calculations. So for example, in this data, I'd like to calculate all of my sales and know the total amount of sales I have. I'd also like to do the same thing with quantity. In Power BI, they allow you to do that using measures. Now, if you move your mouse over, new measure, you're gonna see, write a DAX expression that calculates a value from your data. Now, in this lesson and the next lesson, we're gonna give you a quick little introduction to what DAX formulas look like. So what I'm going to do is to create a measure to add up all of my sales and then all of my quantity, and then later on, we're gonna combine the two to find out what our total sales are combining with all of our quantities. So let's go out over here and go to new measure. And you're gonna see that that comes up working on it and then we have this measure. Now, what's happening here is that it's gonna ask us to actually name the measure. If you don't go over this and then you start creating what we're going to create and you don't replace measure, it's gonna come in with the word measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say total sales and then I'm going to go after the equal sign here, and I'm just going to type out sum, and then that's going to pop up, and I'm just going to hit the tab key. And now notice that all of my column headings and all of my tables now pop up after I hit the tab key. Now you could type out sum and then open parentheses, and these will still come up. If you've ever worked with Excel, this should probably look familiar to you. Now what I'm going to do is just very simply sum up all of my sales that lives inside of the invoice data table. And now I am done. So I've created that and now you'll notice I have a new data point here you can see is total sales and then notice how this looks a little bit different. It looks like this little calculator. This looks like a calculator. That's a new measure. Let's go ahead and do that same exact thing. I'm gonna say new measure and I'm gonna do that for quantity, but this time I'm going to keep measure in there so you can see what I mean from before. Let me say measure equals, I'm going to say sum, hit the tab key, and then I'm going to sum up all of quantity, and then I'm done, and then guess what? It still says measure there. So that was what I was talking about before in case that wasn't clear. So very easily I can rename that, and I'll just say total quantity, and now problem solved. Now you can see here I have my total quantity and my total sales. And that's how you do measures. Now, you could just keep this as is and you love that. That's great. And it's going to give you a total of all of these. And when you start doing all your data visualization, these will be available for you to then incorporate into your data visuals, to doing your, your charts and doing your tables and everything. And they'll be available. They're not showing up here quite yet because we have not made a new column out of it. And that's what we're going to do after this and we're going to see a new column combining the two of these with multiplication using a DAX formula. Following up on our last exercise where we wanted to combine both quantity and sales to find the total total sales using a DAX formula, let's go ahead and create the new column that's going to incorporate it into our table. So very simply I'm going to right click on my column headings and then just say new column. Now, if you wait about two seconds, you're gonna see now over here in my formula bar, I'm gonna have this column equals. Now, I don't want that to be called column. So again, I have to override that. I'm gonna say sales x quant. You can call it whatever you want. And then I'm gonna say equals. Now, here comes the fun part. I'm going to just type out the word C-A-L, and you're gonna see that calculate now appears. Okay, as soon as you see calculate, just go ahead and hit the tab key. Now I'm ready to do some type of calculation. It needs to see my expression for what my calculation is going to be. Now, rather than having to do anything complicated or hunting for it, I know that my data with these two measures that I'm working with live inside my invoice data table. So if I just type out IN, you're going to see, bam, that pops right up, and you're going to see there's invoice data and those two measures that I want to incorporate into this formula. So I'm going to now hit the tab key as soon as I can see total quantity highlighted. Bam, there you go, saving me a lot of typing, a lot of mistakes. I'm going to multiply that by, and I'm going to type out INV, and then invoice data, total sales comes up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now let's double check our syntax. You're going to see here we are calculating invoice data, that is the total quantity measure, 
by the total sales measure that I created. Okay? And then again, what is my column heading going to be called? Sales by quantity. Because remember how I started this by saying I wanted to do a new column. And this new column just happened to have a calculation inside of it. So let's go ahead now and hit the Enter key. And let's just see what that did. And you can see beautifully, there it is. 54 times 4 is 208. Let's see here again, 10 by 250, 2500. Beautiful. Everything looks great and fantastic. This is really powerful, giving me a lot of great information that not only can I see here in my table, but very soon in my data visualization. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.